What's up guys, Baker here. Um, today I have wireframe text and um, just first off I want to say happy holidays to everybody. Um, I've been gone a little bit, been pretty busy, but um, I'm back. So anyway, it's got some wireframe text with Element 3D. going to be kind of cool. I'll show you a few tips. Pretty simple, hopefully a short tutorial and um, yeah. So anyways, let's make a new comp. So this can be, um, you know, a motion design project or you can do this for uh, motion track cinematics or anything like that and maybe intros probably look best for intros but anyways we're gonna make some text here and I'm just gonna type out a uh, wireframe let's see, make this smaller wireframe text so the way I like to do text is um first let me set everything back to auto basically so I, I scale this up right and then I take this bottom layer or bottom text, scale it up so it's relatively the same uh, size and width, and then I just adjust the vertical tracking to bring this in like that. So looks pretty good like that. Okay, let's leave it in the middle. We can turn it off. I want to make a new solid. You should know this by now. Make it comp size. Call this main text. Or we will apply some elements to our main text. And we'll go down to custom layers and custom text path layer one, make it your wireframe text layer. Close it up. Scene setup. We'll go to extrude and we get our 3D text. Pretty awesome. And we're done. Okay. Anyways, we'll go to uh, some bevels in here and uh, I'll just take a preset double down like this. Pretty cool. I'm just going to really quick change this red to a um, like a silvery color. So something like that, that's okay for now, don't want to mess with it too much, anyways, so we'll click OK and um, I'll go to group 1 and I'll close the particle replicator particle look, I'll just boost up the size so it fits our screen pretty nicely, okay so the way I like to do wireframe text, there's a couple ways that I'll show you but basically you need to do your animation first and do your wireframe at the very last step so what I'll do is I'll just go to uh, particle look again and um, uh, do multi object enable. I'll go f uh, forward a few seconds, like maybe four seconds, and I'll keyframe the scatter Z and the random rotation, and that is in the uh, multi object uh, sub level thing. That way, if I push U, I can. Uh, adjust each individual letter so it looks kinda cool so I'll just you know boost this up maybe go backwards I want this X or this E to be close to my face you know make it more interesting to the to the viewer and I'll just ro randomly rotate this I don't know some value 180 or something bring this closer something like that so our animation comes in together like that and we can of course easy ease and boom so do whatever you want whatever kind of animation and have everything set up all you need to do now is close all this and we will go to output actually first since this is your main text duplicate it rename it to wireframe text that's why you need to make sure your animation is pretty much done because if you want to change anything you have to change it in the main text and you have to change it in the wireframe text because we have a copy of all the keyframes so on your wireframe text, go to output and go to polygon mode, normal, change it to wireframe. Now if I solo this, we get these cool wireframe thingies. So what I like to do, um, one thing I did was change the transfer mode, just change it to add. Then we get a cool, like, you still get the text, but it looks like it's a, you know, see-through box almost. And I think it looks pretty interesting little different take on uh, 3D text. Um, another thing that you can do, um, let's see, I don't know if you can change the like number of vertices and faces and stuff, but some models you can because you can see like this R is just like going crazy with uh, all these lines. But anyways, it looks kind of cool. One other thing you can do really quick, set this back to normal if you want to do some kind of glitching back and forth this is what you can do 
we can take um, our main text, push T for opacity, wireframe text, T for opacity, hold Alt, click on the stopwatch for wireframe, and just do 100 minus pick whip to this main text opacity. So all that does is it has our main text, right? Whenever you want it to switch, keyframe your main text from 100, go forward one frame, down to zero. Now we have wireframe text. So you can go forward a little bit and then keyframe it at zero and then go forward back up to 100 and then so you can just you know copy these keyframes like this copy and just paste it again you know move the keyframes a little bit more so then you just get this little back and forth little glitches from text to text so you can add some twitch or whatever and um, do this for some some cool models but simple expression to make sure they are perfectly linked up so you don't have to do a whole bunch of extra keyframing. And um, that is about it. Pretty simple tutorial. I like Element 3D very much. And if you want some more Element 3D tips, just let me know. Leave a comment. Make sure you like and favorite, all that good stuff. Um, hit me up on Facebook if you have any questions or requests or anything else. Um, talk to all my fans on there. Uh, I got t-shirts in the description, pretty cool stuff, um, let me know if you have any other questions, and that is about it, okay, see you next time, peace.